12 of Ignite and today we have a full body strength training session. We're going to be working our upper body, our lower body and our core area. The way the session is structured today is going to be one exercise of 45 seconds with a 15 second rest, followed by another exercise of 45 seconds and a 15 second rest. Then we're going to combine those two exercises together for 45 seconds and then again another 15 second rest. We've got five different combinations to do today and we're going to do two rounds in total. For your reference I'm going to be using three and six kg weights. I'm going to guide you through the session as per usual and we're going to do a warm up and a cool down at the end. So when you're ready guys let's get started. Okay let's start our short warm up bringing the arms up to centre, bring the right hand up and over and look behind and then draw a big half circle back to centre. We're going to do this five times on the right side. And then five times on the left side too. Well done, just open up that shoulder, the biggest stretch you can do and make sure that you use your eyes to gaze behind and then switch sides. Opening up the chest at the same time as well, back to centre. And then let those arms relax. Let's swing them up and behind. So work up into the triceps, swing and extend. Do this eight times. And then rise down, put your hands on your hips and hinge forward. Ease off the back of your legs. We're going to need that today, guys, because we are going to be doing a single leg deadlift in today's session. That's one of our combination moves. Breathe in and out. Do this six times. Well done. And back to centre, relax. Now step back with the left, nice and long, and then step back in. Do three on each side. So step back, keep your balance. <laughs> and then once you've done three, change sides. Great job, come back to centre, open up your chest and then come forward, stretch out the back, open up, stretch out the back, do this five times guys. Great work, okay let's get ready to work out. Our first exercise today is a pivot lunge. So we're gonna need a set of weights. I'm gonna pick up the six kg weights as I'm using my lower body. And what we're gonna do is we're going to pivot and then split lunge down. And we're gonna go back to center, pivot over to the other side and then split lunge on the other side as well. So when you're ready guys, grab those weights and let's get started. Turn, split lunge down, back to center and then pivot over to the other side, right here right now pivot center side down just pivot the toes and the feet as they go round down right that's it you got this center see if you can get that knee to kiss the floor if not don't worry work yourself up to it you can always get there by practice. Last one, guys. Down, rise, and relax. Nice, okay, so next up we're gonna do kickbacks, okay? Now I'm gonna use my other set of weights, my slightly lighter set of weights, to show you that we're gonna kick back using our triceps. We're gonna hinge forward slightly from the hips. We're gonna do a double kickback here. 
back into centre. So as you go back, really squeeze into the tricep. Squeeze as hard as you can, even just hold it for a second. And engage that mind connection to your triceps. Great work. Just a couple more, then after this, guys, we're going to combine those two exercises together. To do a pivot lunge with a kickback as well. Last one. Okay, great work. So, now you need to decide what kind of weight to suit you best to do both. If you've got a four or five kg weight, then that's perfect. Otherwise, stick with your lighter weight just for this round. Go heavier on the second. Let's pivot lunge first. So pivot, rise, kick back, and then move over to the other side. Back down into that lunge position. Forward kick back, back to center. Down again. We're combining the two moves that we've just done together. Oh, nearly done in the center. <laughs> okay, kick back, well done. That's the thing, you've got to focus because now there's two things to think about. All the way down, rise, kick back. Let's go for one more. And then relax, nice work, well done. All right, so next up, I'm gonna pick up my slightly heavier ones. We're gonna do alternating single leg deadlifts. All right, so get your balance. Starting on the right, I'm gonna go down. Keep the back nice and flat. Let's change legs over to the left. You don't have to touch the floor, by the way. Just go down to the best range. Make sure you can feel it at the back of your leg. Obviously, working our hamstrings. Nice work. We've got 15 seconds left. Feel it at the back of your leg. Stay nice and stable. Well done. Last one. Oh, come back to centre and relax. Really. Okay, listen, so next up we have a row. So we're going to tip forward from the hips and we're going to do a bent over neutral row. So you're going to hinge once again here. Keep the weights nice and solid beside you. And row back. And then lengthen all the way down. Row and lengthen all the way down. Squeeze into the back. And release it down, that's it. When we do the combination, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift and then do a row as we are in that deadlift position. It's coming up in a moment, but keep going here. Nice work, a couple more to go. One more guys, and relax. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the same weight because this is a really, really great weight for the deadlift and the row combo. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna tip forward, we're gonna do a single leg, and you're gonna row as well. So get your balance together, let's go. Down, row, down, up. Really focus now. It's a tough one to keep your balance with. So make sure. You're nice and sturdy and stable. Take your time. Great work. We've got another chance to practice this in round two, so don't worry if it's not completely 100% in this one. Always got a chance to improve on the next one. Okay, last one. Whew. <laughs> it's a lot to think about <clears throat> on that one, isn't it? All right, next up, I'm gonna keep these weights, I'm do, gonna do a curtsy with them. Alternating curtsy, let's go. 
behind with the right, centre, then left. So nice, softly down towards the ground, working into our glute area. And you've got this. Make sure your feet are always facing forward, so that you risk twisting the knee, so we don't want to do that. Good work guys, last one. Back to centre, relax, nice. So choose your weight next for a bicep curl, okay? So you're gonna come up the side and release all the way down. I'm gonna stick with the sixes for now. On the combination, I may go a little bit lighter. Let's go. Squeeze, release down. Pump up those guns. <laughs> Summer arms. Ignite the biceps. Think about that mind-muscle connection that I keep banging on about in all the videos. Squeeze up and down. Great work. Amazing so far. Keep squeezing up. Last one, release it down slowly and relax. Great work. Okay, so as I said, I'm just going to lighten the load a little bit because I'm going to do a combination of both. So the curtsy and the bicep curl are coming up together. So we're going to go down, round with the right, and then pull up in that curtsy position here. Yes. Let's pump up the guns and work the legs at the same time. What a great chance to work the full body in a combination style fashion, eh? Keep it smooth and consistent. We've 10 more seconds to go now. Beautiful job, last one, and release. Great work guys, great work. Okay, our next combination is a sumo squat, uh, also with a front raise. Um, so we're gonna do sumo first, widen those legs. Let's get down to the ground and rise up. Push the knees out so you get some inner thigh engagement too. Hinge forward from the hips to get the glute activated. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. So our next exercise, guys, is that front raise. It's coming up. So therefore, I'm going to go a little bit lighter, and then we're going to combine the two together. 10 seconds left. Let's stay nice and strong. For one more rep. And relax, good. Okay, front raise coming up. Switch it over to slightly lighter weights as it's a smaller muscle group. And we're gonna do front raises to the top. Shoulder height, back down again. Great work, I'll show you from the side. So up and then down. Keep everything tucked in. No rocking of the body. Just keep it nice and still. Great work, always lift up the chin as well. Don't tuck it under, keep it nice and proud, looking ahead. Let's go for two more. And then one more. And relax, beautiful work. Okay, I'm gonna stick with these weights because now we're gonna combine the two together. But what we're gonna do with the front raise, instead of doing doubles, we're gonna do singles, okay? So widen those legs, come down into that sumo position first, down, 
Rise up for one. So just singles on this one. If you're feeling really strong, and you can, then yeah, try two, why not? For now, just doing one single alternating front raise combined with the sumo, but you're more than welcome to do two if you wish. Good work, 15 seconds left. Nice. Stay strong to the end, one more. And release, good work. All right, let's put those weights down. For our next exercise, it's gonna be a hollow leg raise, so we don't need any weights at all, really. We're just gonna lay down on the ground. Bring the head and the shoulders up. Drop the legs down and rise up. Just drop the legs down, rise up. Stay in this hollow position to engage that core nice and strong. Point the toes forward nice and long. And I'm just coming down towards my weights, tapping my heels down, rising up. Down and up. You can tap down all the way to the floor if you wish, or you can just stay up a little bit higher. Just keep those shoulders and the head off the ground. Five seconds to go now. Good work. Oh, that was nice. Nice little bit of core work. Okay, grab those weights. We're gonna go into a chest fly position now, guys. So grab your heavier weights if you can. Lay back and let's go. Fly out to the side. Squeeze it back to centre. Now, as you go out and come in, I want you to squeeze that chest together and then go down as far as you can without dropping the arms down to the floor. Breathe in. Out. Close it in. Breathe in. Great work. Yes, let's go for two more. And last one. Nice, okay, next up we're gonna combine the leg raise with the chest fly, but we're gonna keep our head down. Or you can keep your shoulders off if you wish, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna keep it down. We're gonna get out to the side. And then back to center both at the same time. Out and center, because I'm using slightly high, heavier weights on my chest. I'm gonna stay down on the ground so I can get more of a chest push. Oh, great work. We've got this. 20 more seconds and we've finished round one. We've got another round to go. Keep pushing to the end, guys. Last one. Back to centre. And relax. Good work. Okay. Right, so next up, we're going to have a little break and then we're going to go into round two. So have a little drink. And then when you're ready, we're going to go into round two. Okay. Hope you're having a sip of water like I am, guys. We're gonna get ready for round two. Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed the first round. Pick up your weights ready for the pivot lunges starting for round two. Remember, we're gonna go side and then center and then side, okay? Ready, shall we go for round two? We know what's going on now, let's go for it. Work really hard. Now you know the combinations. we have got another chance to really nail them. Down, center, twist. Yes, take your time, remember. Get down to that full range of motion. Back to centre and down again. Yes, well done. Great work, 15 seconds left.
Let's go for one more on this side. Down and relax. Okay, remember those kickbacks. So there for the triceps, I'll go slightly lighter so I can extend my arm out and hold for a second. Tip forward from the hips, bring it up, and let's kick back. Nice. See if you can hold, extend as far as you can, out, back in. Extend about, back in. Good work, 20 seconds to go. Breathe, in, out. In, out. One more time. And then release, good work. Okay, so we're gonna combine the two together, the pivot lunge with the kickback. Remember what we did in round one. Get it even better in round two, okay? So starting nice and wide, we're gonna turn around to the side. Let's do our split lunge first. Come up, hinge forward and kick back. To center, other side, down, rise, hinge and kick back. Down, rise, kick back. Good work. Keep nice and balanced. The combination work gives us something to think about, doesn't it? Rather than just follow along, we have to actually connect our mind to coordinate what we're doing rather than just go through the motion. <laughs> Last one. And relax, beautiful. So it's really, really great, well, great way to train the brain as well as the body. All right, the single leg deadlifts are coming up next. Maintain your balance by staying nice and firm on the ground. Let's go right side first, tip forward, and rise up. Try not to round the shoulders as you go down, okay? Keep nice and straight with the back. And as soon as you feel that pinch at the back of the leg, that's when it's time to rise back up again. <sighs> Using the muscles at the back of the leg. Breathe in. <sighs> Great work so far. Ooh, pull up with that leg and not the back. Good, we've got time to do one more, guys. Relax, good. So remember we tipped forward from the hips and we did the row, well that's coming up next and we're gonna combine the two together. All right, so when you're ready, let's go for that hinge first. Knees are nice and soft, squeeze, release all the way down. Keep the top half of your body still, do not move. Squeeze, release down. Work. Well done. Keep rowing. I hope these weights are like a good weight for you. I hope they're nice and heavy. You can get the gains in the back. Good work. Let's go for two more. Then one more. And relax. Ooh. Now we really come to the spicy part, which is our single leg deadlift with the row. So that's where you've got to really focus on your balance as well as trying to row when you're down there, okay? Let's go again, round two. Rise, let's switch legs. Takes a lot of concentration and focus. Breathing, well done. Mm. 
Nice work. Let's go for one more. And relax. Oh, I think that's one of the toughest combos so far. Okay, next up is our curtsy. So we're going to do alternating curtsies. Then we're going to do a bicep curl. Remember that one? Okay, curtsy time first. Nice and deep. So the deeper the range of motion that you can get to, the harder you're going to work your muscle group. So make sure that you go to the best of your ability and lengthen and go all the way down if you can to the ground. You'll get so many more benefits from training with your full range of motion. As long as you can get back up, of course, making sure that you use the right weight, guys. Good work. Last one. Oh, nice. <laughs> now it's bicep time. So, I'm gonna go with the same weights because I wanna pump up my biceps and give them more shape and definition. I'm gonna use heavier weights for sure. Okay, squeeze up and then all the way down. Make sure that your chest is proud and that you're not moving any other part of your body. Plug the elbows in and rise up. Lengthen all the way down. Keep the knees soft. There's a lot to remember, isn't there? And just keep smiling, is what I say. Just smile your way through, knowing what the gains are. Stay happy, smiley. Even when it hurts and you're like, oh, no, no more. Let's go for one more. And relax, good. Just shake it out, just to ease off any forearm tension, wrist tension. We're gonna go into a curtsy in the bicep curl combination. So get ready in the center. Let's do the two together. I think on the last round I did the lighter weight, didn't I? So I'm sticking with the heavier one for this one. Because I know I can now. So why not give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, you know? <sighs> nice. 20 seconds to go. <sighs> Great work. <sighs> Last one. That was a puffer, that was. Ooh, okay. Get ready for your sumos, nice and wide. And then it's the front raise next. So sumo squats, hinging from the hips, working your booty. Lift it up. Down. Such a great feeling when you can fire up the glutes. Push out your knees. So you engage your inner thigh. Nice work, guys. Hey guys, I've just realized that my trainers match the <laughs> weights that I've got today. How crazy is that? No coincidence. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Blue and purple. Last one. And then release, good. Ooh. Love a bit of sumos, love that. Okay, so lighter weights for the smaller muscle group at the top. Front raises, doubles. Release down, rise up, release down. I'm laughing because with this exercise, I find it always quite challenging, so if I don't laugh, I'll cry. <laughs> so I always find something funny to think about whilst I'm doing them, you know? <sighs> Let me know in the comments if you like this exercise uh, and which one's your favorite maybe out of the session today. That'd be really good to hear. <sighs> Stick with me though, guys, to the end. We'll do the combination next of the sumo to front raise, and we've got one more 
set of exercises to do. Last one. Here. And relax, okay. So on the first round, we did the sumo with a single front raise. Some people might have done doubles. I think this time I'm gonna go with doubles. Okay, so you're gonna go down to the ground, up, raise to a double front raise. Try to keep it nice and smooth. Hopefully the weights are the ones that are good for you. You can always do it with one weight as well, by the way. So you don't have to have two. You can just use one single weight. <sighs> Forward and rise, nice. Good work. Oh, 10 seconds. Last one. Oh yes, we made it on the doubles. Yes, 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 I'm so happy about that. Okay, next up is our hollow leg drop. So remember we kept the hand, sorry, the shoulders and the head off the ground. Legs go up. Down to the floor, rise up. Or don't go as low if you can't. It's okay. Just keep your head and your shoulders lifted. Mind connection into core, guys. Mind connection into core, please. Yes, lift it up. And down, 15 seconds now. Good work. Woo. Time for a couple more. And relax, nice. Okay, grab those weights for your chest fly and then we'll do the combination to finish. And that'll be the end of our session today. I find that when we do combos, it definitely goes faster, doesn't it? Okay, up you go. Open out the chest. Don't relax the arms on the floor. Just squeeze them back into center. Open, squeeze. On the next round, we're gonna be doing a chest fly with a leg drop combination. Combination of the two, so we've got another chance to squeeze that chest together in a moment. Why not? Ooh. Okay, relax right then. So bring your legs up, guys. We're gonna drop and fly at the same time on this one. It's our last one. So keep it strong, nice and long with the legs. Let's go. Squeeze it in, open out. Yes. Great work. The last one to stay with me. Oh. Good work. Eight seconds left and we're done. And release, good work. Ooh, well done. Give yourselves a little clap. Let's have a short little stretch. And then we can have a really, really great day. So bring the right leg up. Stretch the back of your leg, your hamstring. We did those single leg deadlifts, remember? So we want to stretch it and lengthen it back out again. So bring it towards you. Rotate the ankles if you wish. And feel the stretch down the back of your leg here. Make sure it's nice and straight. Pull it a little bit further in if you feel you can. Good work, let's change sides. 
side hamstring stretch. Rotate the ankle. Good work, release it there. Just hug the knees in nice and tight so you can feel the glute stretch and rotate your back into the ground. So nice massage into the ground. Other direction. Really well done. Okay, now stretch the whole body out. So lengthen from your fingertips to your toes. Take a nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Nice deep breath in. down into the ground, let everything drop, hold it here, good work guys, okay, let's slowly rise up, back to centre, cross your legs, face me, and then just tip forward so you can stretch into your glutes and your hips. Nice stretches to lengthen out the muscles again. It's always important to um, do the stretches at the end if you have got time, if, you, if you've got two minutes, because we lengthen uh, the muscles out again, which is really important for recovery as well. So let me know in the comments if you managed to stay the whole way. Give me a like, a thumbs up, and a comment would be lovely. I always reply to every single person, so um, yeah, you get a personalised reply from me if you comment. If you need any support as well, by the way, um, if there's a particular exercise that you like or dislike or need help on, just feel free to shout out, get in touch, and um, I'll, I'll ping you back a message for sure. Okay, over to the side. I want to try and help as many of you as I possibly can. And I've always got the time for everybody, so let me know if you need any assistance or help or anything exercise related. We've got this together guys, well done, have a great uh, weekend, I'm saying weekend because I'm filming this on the weekend, um, but yeah have a great day um, if it's not the weekend and I will see you in day 13 which is our final day of Ignite, I've got something really exciting coming up so don't miss out, stay with me, comment down below and I'll see you soon, bye!